do you believe in privacy some people certainly do and i think that as somebody with sense there are things that you should definitely keep private i've shared before on this channel tips on how to live a private life i do understand that we all want to share our accomplishments and happiness with the rest of the world we want to have someone listen to our stories of heartbreak and pain because honestly it can be difficult to just keep some things to yourself no matter how much we might want to open up and share our true selves with others the kind of deep connection that we crave for can only be satisfied if we respect our privacy and be careful about who it is that we let in for our own sake do not get me wrong it is not about being secretive it is about shielding yourself from emotional and mental harm by keeping some things in your life private if you are new here hello you're welcome my name is josie kindly consider joining our community for more fun relatable and wholesome content over here i share family and personal lifestyle vlogs i share personal development and self-improvement tips and i also do chit chats about very relatable day-to-day -day situations with that said here are nine things that you are better off keeping private as a man or a woman who respects themselves and who is aware of his or her environment let's get right into it number one on my list is your family problems and drama let me just start by saying that every family has family problems and drama but we just don't like to hear about them it is one thing to talk about yourself and what happens in your life but going further to talk about what happens in your mother's life your father's life your sister's life your brother's life your cousin's lives to people who have no business knowing about it it is not your place to put other people's lives out there including that of your family members it is actually disrespectful to them the issues between you and your family members stays between you and them there's no need getting other people involved because it will only stir up more trouble than it is worth i'm not opposing that you should not share your concerns with your close ones i mean people that you really trust and this should not be more than one or two max people who have proven themselves trustworthy over time time without number not three not four not five not six no 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 that's a bit too much and the next time somebody tries to stick their nose into your family's business simply steer the conversation to another topic or just tell them that you would rather keep it private which brings us to our next point the next point i would like us to talk about is your personal secrets is it even a secret if more than the concerned knows about it i'm one of those people who firmly believe that if something is meant to be a secret then only the person who is directly involved should know about it but if you choose to divulge your secret if your mouth is itchy to talk about it to someone else then you should be extremely careful who the person you are about to talk to is do you really know this person are you sure this person can be trusted to keep your secret and not spread it for gossip or use it against you when next you to get into a fight if you're not careful who you trust it could lead to a lot of embarrassment pain and heartbreak down the road so it is better to be safe than sorry and just keep it to yourself you're not going to die don't tell a and say to a that don't tell anybody about it because that a that you are telling and telling them not to tell anybody about it they have that one person that they think they trust so much which they are going to tell and also tell them that please keep this thing to yourself it's meant to be a secret and that person will have another person that they trust and they'll carry that information to that person in confidence and that is how the whole community will end up knowing about something that was meant to be your secret and each and every one of them who knows about it has their own version based on who gave them the information but if you had kept this thing to yourself all of this would not be happening you will not find yourself in uncomfortable situations that could have easily been avoided if you actually just kept that secret to yourself and the next point i would like us to talk about is other people's secrets similar to the previous point if somebody trusts you enough to tell you something in confidence then it will not be fair or right for you to do anything to break their trust 
or jeopardize your relationship with them. It might not have been easy for them to share that thing with you and letting other people know about it without their consent could be very upsetting to them. Just imagine how humiliated and betrayed you might feel if someone did that to you. I bet you wouldn't want to do that to somebody else. So please, if someone trusts you with their secret, kindly keep it to yourself. There's no dignity in sharing other people's secrets. The next point is your act of kindness and help rendered to others. The world is in desperate need of kindness, but it is wrong to be kind only when others are watching. Sometimes no one might even be watching, but you now decide to go out of your way unprovoked to start chatting about how much you have been of help to A, B, or C. Thank you so much that you helped those people through their difficult times. Thank you for giving them that which they did not have. But please zip it. We do not need to know. It is between you and God, and that is where your reward comes from. We do not need to know how much of a nice person you are from your own mouth. I get that some people like to throw themselves flowers because they are proud for being the reason why somebody has something. You can do that in your heart because when you talk about it to the next person, that is you bragging. That is you bringing down the same person that you helped. You don't really have to say anything for people to see that you are a nice person. When you do kind deeds, people see it. Drop your shoulders down, down. Just bring down your shoulders just a little bit. Humility goes a long way. Let other people be the ones to sing your praises. If you want to help other people, do it for the sake of helping them, not so that you can get a pat on the back from the society. Even if the person you helped turned out to be a horrible person to you, I still don't see why you have to talk about it to anyone else. I've seen some charity cases on social media and I cannot fault them for that because I believe that they want to show that there are actually people who need help. And from these videos, a lot of donations actually come to people in need. That one is absolutely fine. I'm talking about an individual, a human being who helped another human being in their difficult time in private, probably their friend or their relative or an acquaintance or a colleague. And now decide to tell anyone else who cares to listen that Josie needed to use a car the other day and I borrowed the mine out of the goodness of my heart. Blah, blah, blah. I honestly feel like that is so tacky. The next point is your income and your financial situation. It is something of an unspoken social rule that it is generally considered uncomfortable to talk about money, how much exactly you are making and how much money you have in your bank account. If someone is close to you, for example, your friend, it is okay for you to share how much you are earning with them, but you must really, really trust this friend to share such an information with them. I do talk about money with my friends. I don't have many friends, but the few I have from time to time, if such conversations come up, we can all talk about how much more we would like to make in the next six months or in the next one year. We do have such conversations every now and then, but we never really get to how much money you have in your bank account. No matter how much you are making or are not making, talking about your financial situation to other people is bound to make them jealous if they are making a lot less than you are making. It can make some people uncomfortable because they just don't like hearing about numbers. Or some people can actually start feeling sorry for you if they feel like you are struggling financially. I feel like complaining about being broke all the time or comparing how much money you are making with other people is never a good idea. After all, there's not much they can do about it, so what's the point? It's better to just keep that between you and your bank account. And also, I'm of the opinion that asking somebody how much they are making, if you're not close to them, shows a lack of manners and respect. 
do your own research there's a lot of information out there on the internet if your reason for wanting to know how much somebody is making from their job is because you want to know if it's something that you want to do or not the worst is when you now decide to broadcast cash on social media like why why do you why do you do that it screams tackiness it screams brokenness are you that broke that you are so excited by a bundle of cash that you now want to pick up your phone snap it and post it on social media what exactly is the point you're trying to communicate to the rest of the world i don't get it it's different if it's like a cash gift that somebody gave you and maybe you want to just thank them and celebrate them and show your excitement for receiving a cash gift but if it is money that you actually genuinely earned why would you want to come and display that on social media it screams poverty a lot it's like you're you're shocked by how much money you can actually hold in your hand to the extent that you really want people to know that you have arrived i don't know i might be ignorant is there a reason why people do that if you know why people do that let's share in the comment section i might just learn a thing or two the next point is your dreams and your goals your dreams are your own and you deserve to nurture them with the kind of peace of mind that only privacy can bring it is for the best that you keep all your dreams and goals in life to yourself it is okay to talk about your aspirations you can share your vision board with other people if you want to but going ahead to share details on how you intend to go about achieving those goals mm -mm. I would not recommend that because the more people you share them with the less motivated you are likely to become why because people always have something to say and if you invite them into the conversation they might fill your mind with criticisms doubts and discourage you especially if they cannot understand why you want what you want the only people you can share your dreams and aspirations with are people who are already succeeding at the same thing that you aspire to do or become so that they can give you informed advice and guidance. I understand that not everybody will want to hold your hand and show you the way to succeed at the same thing that they are doing, but I doubt if anybody would want to discourage you from doing the same thing that they are clearly succeeding at. The worst that can happen is that they might withhold some useful information from you which might make your journey a little bit more difficult than it would have been if they actually showed you some of the mistakes that they learned when they started so that you will not have to repeat them and this will in turn make your journey a lot more easier but without these mentors it doesn't mean that you cannot succeed if you actually put in the work, do your own research and start and grow step by step. But if you have a mentor, good for you. When you abstain from discussing your plans with somebody who adds no value to the situation, the tendency of it succeeding is literally higher than when you give out a breakdown of how you intend to achieve your goals. So you are better off just keeping your goals and your plans to yourself unless the person you are discussing with is somebody who is already in the field and is succeeding in that field and you trust that they can give you useful information that will help your career path or will help the kind of business that you want to venture into. If not, then just keep your plans to yourself and work on it. The next point is your health situation there's confidentiality in the healthcare sector for a reason it is not everything that you have to share and i'm not talking about mild situations like cold food poisoning headaches and all the like we all do that from time to time i actually did that just a couple of days ago when i had a really bad cold i'm talking about serious health problems that requires like a procedural treatment it is possible to have a conversation about your health situation with someone but i'm of the opinion that it has to be someone that adds some sort of value to the situation like a doctor friend of yours or maybe like a therapist friend of yours 
if it is more of a mental or psychological health situation that you are facing these are people who can give you professional advice on the situation at hand people have different opinions about receiving sensitive information some people can take it well pray for you console you check up on you and send any useful information your way to contribute to the recovering process meanwhile there's this category of people who will be in shock and start to say things like oh my god can you believe Josie is walking around looking this fine meanwhile she's suffering from x y and z condition and some of them can be having this conversation in very random places with very random people people who have no business knowing what is going on in your private life you know how people can be sometimes if you are the one with that condition and you hear that on the streets come on it does not help the situation in any way if anything it ruins your mental health if you are not careful i feel like it is better to heal from any serious health condition in private most especially off social media unless maybe you are seeking donations from the public people's varying opinions on what you are going through will only confuse and drain you the more if you want to talk about it you can talk about it as a testimony when you are totally healed and restored that way no matter what anybody has to say about the situation it will not affect you anymore because you have completely dealt with that situation already the next point is your weaknesses it is important to be in touch with your weaknesses in order to work on them and grow and improve on yourself and generally become a better version of yourself and if something isn't going right it is okay to reach out to somebody who you think can be of help to you in that area but always bear in mind that not everybody has your best interest at heart you can find a few people who have proven themselves trustworthy over time time without number and let them in on these areas of your life that you are struggling with but if you don't feel 100 percent sure that these people or this person has your best interest at heart which you must always consider before you open your mouth if not do not open your mouth I understand that it can be difficult sometimes to know if somebody actually has your best interest at heart which is why i will always encourage a small circle i do not say that you should not have people that you interact with and laugh or people that you hang out with from time to time but having more than one or two close friends hey you are fooling yourself to me having one close friend is even enough two max that you can sit and discuss certain core things about yourself with so that if tomorrow it leaks if tomorrow you hear certain things about yourself outside on the streets you know exactly where it came from it is hard to tell the source of any viral information about you when you have been vulnerable around more than one person there you have it guys that is everything i had to share with you today on the power of silence i will be making more of these kind of videos on the power of silence because there is a lot more i have to say i hope that this encouraged you to keep certain aspects of your life private for the sake of your peace and happiness thank you so much for watching if you found the video helpful kindly give us a huge thumbs up and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel kindly consider subscribing for similar content and please share this video as the spirit leads until i come your way next time stay blessed stay safe continue to drink a lot of water and mind the business that pays you i'll see you in my next video guys bye